Hello everybody, this is how we print in Windows XP and I'll do a Windows 7 version at the end. Uh, there's no need to resize your images after you have finished uh, creating them with GIMP. All we do is save them and then we double click on the picture you're trying to print. And here's mine here called Lucas. So I double click on it and then it opens up in picture and uh, Windows Picture and Fax Viewer. Um, but before I can print this on a card that I'm going to fold in half, I need to rotate it upside down so it prints properly when I fold it. So I need to rotate it by clicking on this option down the bottom here, rotate. Click on yes. And rotate again, it needs to be completely upside down. There we go. Now I can click on my little printer icon here. Then I would click on next and my computer is very slow again. I would click on next again and then I click on next again and then I scroll down and I look for the, uh, the option where it would split the image in half to fit on the page. So I click on the 5 by 7 option here and it will generate a preview. And then I click on next again and then it's on your end. Here's the Windows 7. This is how we print in Windows 7. You double click on the image you would like to print then it opens up in Windows Photo Viewer and if we're going to do the same thing in the, as we did in Windows XP we need to rotate the image so it uh, aligns properly when we print it and fold it in half so we need to rotate the whole image and we do that by clicking on our rotate uh, options here on the bottom it needs to be completely upside down like that and then we click on print at the top here and then click on print again and then it will open up the printer driver as you can see there and the program has realized I have a black and white printer so that's why it's black and white if you have a color printer it will turn out color here and then we scroll down and we look for this option here and we click on 5 by 7 and as you can see there, when you fold this bit of paper in half, it will be aligned properly. And then you click on print. And it will start printing on your printer. Thanks everybody. If you have any questions, please feel free to make any comments. And I'll try to answer your questions in the comment section. And um, please take the time to comment and rate uh, this video. I would appreciate it. Thanks everybody.